Hi everyone, today in the Winter Garden Workshop I'm going to attach these pieces to the Marvin X. This is the hi-hat marble gate and marble dropper. Yesterday I finished the drum funnels, so if I can get the whole hi-hat channel to work we can include the hi-hat in the next big marble test on the main channel. This is where the marbles are dropped for the hi-hat and the marble gate sits right on top here. So the marbles exit up here and enters the marble gate here and the first thing I want to check is that the pressure is correct. So these plywood parts right here is a pressure module deliberately designed to keep the marble pressure low. I built some other channels too good so the marbles actually got stuck. That's what I'm going to check now. I would kind of like to see the marbles reach all the way up to this line. Let's check the second channel. I think the marbles are running a little bit too slow, so I'm going to open up and see if I can make them run faster. These marble lanes are not round, they're designed like this, with two points for the marble to roll on. This creates over rotation and makes the marbles go slower. I'm gonna use the Dremel and sand away these two points and hopefully create this marble lane so the marble can roll in the bottom, which will make it roll a little bit easier. Classic French winter weather. <laughs> before and after, and before and after. I'm also using graphite powder, it's a dry lubricant for wood. It does make a quite big difference actually when you really work it into the wood. Look at that beautiful silvery surface. So this is the new measurement after the sanding. And this is where the marbles were before the sanding. So according to this, we made a difference actually in the right direction. I'm gonna try the other channel. Oh, this is good. Now I have to make a pipe in this shape to connect these pieces. So now I need to weld these to the machine. There's a lot of steps. I'm gonna bring it with me on all the steps and I'm in a little bit of rush to get this through. I just wanted to show you all the steps because there's so many. I actually don't have the welding machine upstairs anymore. I turned this area into a music studio. It feels really nice to throw out the tools from here and put in the music instruments again. So this is acoustic curtain. This case is completely empty, it's going down. I saw it says Martin stage right on it. The reason it says stage right on the case is that when you have stage hands, when you tour on large stages, there's a lot of people just pushing boxes around when you arrive, when the band arrives. By stage right, they know where to put the box. We took enormous proud in being able to set up our very complicated stage rig really fast. We just went straight out of the, out of the bus, starting to pack the instruments up. Then my case already stood where I needed it to put up my stuff. Being on tour is the most fun thing I've ever done. So I really want to come back to that. It's gonna say like stage center on the Marmchen X, you know? <laughs> 
this wall is going to be the string instrument wall, so I'm gonna hang the guitars and stuff here. Out to harp. You can play all the loose strings and then press a chord afterwards. Mandolin. This is not what I'm supposed to do now, welding, okay. I want to sample some of these instruments and make sampler instruments. Maybe share on the free download page on wintergatan.net. I have a lot of cool glockenspiels. It's not a xylophone, xylophone is with wood. Omnichord. You should check Barnaby Dixon, Dab Chick versus Omnichord. Oh, toy typewriter, super good sound. Oof. <laughs> Only that, you know, it's a song already. So as you can see, a lot of steps to weld these parts on. First, I need to detour into this room. <laughs> Vibraphone by the window, it's pretty cool. As you can see, I'm doing really well, keeping all the tools where they should be. Let's make some space. I went downstairs and got my welding machine up. Okay, so now I need to connect this bottle with the machine. So here's the gas coming into the welder. With this new gas bottle, I'm not used to the flow, so I'm going to do some quick welding test. So this is the ground clamp. I think it closes the electrical loop to make the electricity like want to jump from the TIG gun into the metal and flow on to the ground clamp. <laughs> I don't know, I think it, that's how it works. I never understood electricity. <laughs> I think it's super difficult. Now we shouldn't hear any gas. So let's open this up. Yeah. Mm. Not too bad, maybe a little more. One step closer to a Hyatt activation. This is my new Marble Machine X material room and I'm looking for these pieces to weld onto the machine. It's the vibraphone drops coming soon. Now the sun lights up Martian X poster. Oh yeah, here's the bass tuner from Christoph Brüning. This work is amazing, I'm gonna show you later. Christoph Brüning is a genius. So since we have four pickups on the bass guitar, he's made a switch between the strings and made a custom cable with like five channels into the tuner so I can choose which string goes into the tuner and build some kind of custom mounting plate with a mounting arm so I can screw this part onto the machine. So welding the marble gate to the pivots is always scary because this is like the final commitment to this position. This part's gonna be in the way for the next channel so that I'm gonna remove and then I'm going to estimate this piece. Paper tape communicates that really professional welding fixture feeling. <laughs> I'm torturing the OCD audience. I'm in a good mood. It's Friday. We did the first week on Wintergatan 2. It has been so fun. I love to do these videos. I got more I get more done on the Marble Machine X. It seems that that you're enjoying them as well. Bound clamp is on. Let's light this candle. So now I'm welding on places where I don't want the heat to spread too much. I'm always welding as hot as I can because that means I'm welding as short as I can. Oh wow. Well, looks perfect. Thank you for your service. This weld is done and now I need to make this one. I have a wet towel handy. This towel was white. <laughs> that is not bad. Even the cardboard is not burning. Oh. Now it is. I have to weld this in place for everything to line up correctly. Like, well, who's hiding in there? <laughs> I want to show you something cool. Before I put the second one in, we can actually take a closer look how this gate works. Wilson, pay attention now. 
I'm so proud of this design, it's really making the Marble Machine X have a potential to succeed. So there's one marble here, and there's one marble up there. This marble is being stopped by this plywood part, this marble is being stopped by this plywood part. When I go back, both these two marbles will fall down one step. So the top marble fell into the moving gate, and the below marble fell down into the playing position there. Open. The whole thing is kind of really free from friction. It takes no energy almost to open the gate. And the spring pulls it back. And it's fast. So I'm going to burn this felt now, but I will replace it later. I need to use this sacrificial felt to know exactly where this felt's on. The position of this is very important. Okay, let me point out the connections in this mechanical labyrinth. So up here is where the programming pin pulls back this lever. And if you look in here where I'm pointing, there is a spring behind there. So that's the spring pulling everything back. Then it goes down here through the thing I welded on and opening up this left side of the marble gate. We have two channels, one, two, for every instrument. Maybe we can finish this week with a drum trio, including the Hyatt played by the Marble Machine X. Let's try first. Wow! I love my new marble gate because, as I said before, it's a copy-paste and it just works right away. I connect everything and it works. Let's make a simple Hyatt program. So this magnet programming system is actually great. I can so easily put in and out and out, and it's kind of tight. But if you never saw it before, it will be replaced by this. <laughs> the machine is going to look so bleep amazing when this is on the machine. It will give it a whole new feeling. Okay, so for the hi-hat, I wanted to play between the kick and snare. Do cha do cha do cha do cha I know the heights are on this row and then I alternate them. So, two, chika, ch, two. And I do that for the whole loop. Let's play some higher. This was an amazing week, it was so fun to making videos for Winter Autumn 2 and I do think we made some real progress in the end. Woo! Wilson loves the Hyatt! Shout out to Hannes who has been amazing in the video editing the whole week. It's been so fun to like building something and then sharing it with all of you right away. So yeah, super happy for this. See you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Bye.